I want to recite a poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay. It's called A Poet and His Book. I'm getting it out of this paperback called The New Pocket Anthology of American Verse, edited by Oscar Williams in 1961. Edna St. Vincent Millay's The Poet and His Book Down you mongrel death, back into your kennel I have stolen breath in a stalk of fennel You shall scratch and you shall whine many a night And you shall worry many a bone before you bury One sweet bone of mine when shall I be dead? When my flesh is withered and above my head, yellow pollen gathered all the empty afternoon, when sweet lovers pause and wonder, who am I that lie there under, hidden from the moon? This is my personal death, that my lungs be failing to inhale the breath others are exhaling. This my subtle spirit's end, ah, when the thawed winter splashes over these chants, dust and ashes, weep not me, my friend. Me by no means dead in that hour, but surely when this book unread rots to earth obscurely, and no more to any breast, Close against the clamorous swelling of the thing there is no telling are these pages pressed. When this book is mold, and a book of many waiting to be sold for a casual penny. In a little open case, in a street unclean and cluttered, where a heavy mud is spattered from the passing drays. Stranger, pause and look from the dust of ages. Lift this little book, turn the tattered pages. Read me, do not let me die. Search the fading letters, finding steadfast in the broken binding all that once was I. When these veins are weeds, when these hallowed sockets watch the rooty seeds bursting down like rockets and surmise the spring again, or remote in the black cupboard watch the pink worms writhing upward at the smell of rain. Boys and girls that lie whispering in hedges, do not let me die. Mix me in your pledges. Boys and girls that slowly walk in the woods and weep and quarrel, staring past the pink wild laurel, mix me with your talk. Do not let me die, farmers at your raking, when the sun is high, while the hay is making, when along the stubble strewn, withering on their stalks uneaten, strawberries turn dark and sweeten in the laps of noon. Shepherds on the hills, in the pastures drowsing, to the tinkling bells of the brown sheep browsing. Soldiers crying through the storm, scholars at your study, hunters lost amid the whirling winter's whiteness uniform. Men that long for sleep, men that wake and revel, if an old song leap to your senses level, at such moments may it be, sometimes though a moment only, some forgotten, quaint and homely vehicle of me. Women at your toil, women at your leisure, till the kettle boil, snatch of me your pleasure. Where the broom straw marks the leaf, Woman, quiet with your weeping, lest you wake a workman sleeping, mix me with your grief. 
boys and girls that steal from the shocking laughter of the old to kneel by a dripping rafter under the discolored eaves, out of trunks with hingeless covers, lifting tales of saint and lovers, travelers, goblins, and thieves. Suns that shine by night, mountains made from valleys, bear me to the light, flat upon your bellies. By the webby window lie where the little flies are crawling. Read me, margin me with scrawling. Do not let me die. Sexton, ply your trade in a shower of gravel. Stamp upon your spade, many a rose shall ravel. Many a metal wreath shall rust in the rain, and I go singing through the lots where you are fleeing, yellow, clay, and dust. The Poet and His Book by Edna St. Vincent Millay